I've been keeping an eye on this yellow pear tomato plant for a while now. A few weeks ago, it was very vigorous, produced a lot of fruit for us, but over time, the leaves started to wilt, they started to turn yellow, they died, and now I see that the branches are dying too. So there's a number of reasons why you might get sudden die off of a tomato plant, including too much water, too little water, lack of nutrition, too much fertilizer, heavy salt in your soil or water, nematodes, and possibly even some tomato diseases. However, we don't get very many tomato diseases here because of our arid environment. But we do get something called tomato wilt diseases. There's two types of tomato wilt diseases, urticillium wilt and fusarium wilt. And they result from fungus uh, in the soil that disrupts the vascular system of the tomato plant and ultimately the tomato plant can't bring up enough water to survive and it dies. Verticillium wilt is uh, favored by cool weather and fusarium wilt is favored by warm weather. So that's what I suspect we have here. They take a similar course of action uh, starting with the wilting, the yellowing of the leaves, the dying off of the leaves, sometimes only a branch or two on the plant will die and the other part will survive a bit longer, but ultimately the plant dies. And there's nothing you can really do about it. One of the obvious indicators is this sort of sunken brown marking along the stem. A lot of the stems have it. Um, and if I cut this open, I will find probably either a dark brown center or hollow center, which tells me the vas vascular system is destroyed. So the only way to really prove it is to send it to a lab, but I've had this experience numerous times, so I'm pretty sure that's what this is. The only thing you can do is tear this plant out and throw it away. Don't put it in your compost because you don't want to contaminate your compost. Throw it in the garbage. And in the future, because this is a soil-borne disease, you don't want to plant any members of the nightshade family anytime in the near future. And again, members of the nightshade family are peppers, eggplant, potatoes, and tomatoes. The only thing you can do in the future if you want to plant in this particular spot, if you want to plant something from the nightshade family, is to purchase disease-resistant varieties, varieties that are resistant to this particular type of disease. And you can identify that by looking for the V or the F, either in your seed catalog, on your seed packets, or on the labels of the plants that you're purchasing from a nursery.